Hey guys, welcome back, PG Mining 10 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Shaders mod for Minecraft FTB 1.0.1. Now, we are actually running Minecraft 1.4.7. Just to show you guys, I am running this version of FTB. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to know is where your install location for FTB is. Now, mine is obviously on the desktop, as most of yours is probably going to be. Now that we know that, what we are going to do is go download Optifine. Now, the version of Optifine you're we're going to need is actually Optifine HD Ultra 1.4.6. Now we're going to need Ultra D5. Now make sure that you don't get the standard version. You actually want the Optifine 1.4.6 HD D5. Now I will include the download link in the description below, but you can just click here and download it very easily. As you see, I have already done so here. The second thing that you're going to need is the shaders mod. I will just as easily include that link down below. I have actually downloaded already and here it is as well now the last thing that you're going to need is actually the shader pack itself we are using SUS v10 rc7 ultra so you're going to be downloading it here at this media fire link as I have done already now let's go ahead and close out of this and get started as you see I have these three folders on my desktop let's go ahead and open up the FTB folder as you see, here is my FTB folder, and here is my ultimate pack right there. The other two are just copies, don't mind those. What you are now going to do is scoot this off to the side, and let's go ahead and begin messing with the Optifine itself. As you see, Optifine opens itself as a zip. We can also move that off to the side. Now what you're going to open up is the Shaders Mod MC 1.4.6. Let's go ahead and open this, and we are going to click Extract. Now you might have a different way to extract, but I'm just going to click Extract All. As you see, we are going to go ahead and extract that. Let's just go ahead and keep that as is. And now we have our extracted folder on the desktop. It opened itself, but if it does not, just go ahead and close out of the zip and open up the folder itself. As you see, you will have shaders as well as A through um, W classes, and that is just wonderful because we are going to need to replace everything within our Optifine zip with everything in our shaders mod. So let's go ahead and go through this again. Let's open up Optifine zip. As you see, I have this open, Optifine zip. Now let's open up our shaders mod file that we have extracted. Let's select everything within this and let's press shift just to select all of this and drag it over to the Optifine 1.4.6 HD UD5. Now that U actually means a lot to us because we are going to need the Ultra version in order for this work. So if it does not work, go ahead and ensure that you have that U within its name. As you see, we have copied everything from within this over into here. That is the wonderful thing that is going to work just fine. So let's go ahead and exit out of this as well as our Optifine. Now that we have edited modify, or Optifine, what we are going to want to do is navigate to the ultimate within FTB. Let's navigate to Inst Mods or INST Mods. Now let's drag over our Optifine. As you see, Optifine is actually 418 kilobyte. Now you're going to need this for it to work, otherwise you know that you have done it wrong if it doesn't equal exactly 418 kilobyte. Now it may vary by one or two, but if you have 412, you know for a fact that you did it wrong because that is the original file size. Let's go ahead and exit out of this and our mod install is done. The last thing to install is actually the um, SUS shaders pack. So let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft 1.4.7. As you see, let's launch the FTV Ultimate 1.01 .01, and we should be just fine. As this is launching, we should be able to do whatever we'd like, but let's make sure that we do keep up with this right here. SUS V10 RC7 Ultra. Let's continue and wait for this, and currently our internet's a little bit slow because I am in a storm. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but it is nonetheless working and slowly working at that, but we should be just fine for our sake. Now, it may take a little bit longer for it to load than usual. Now, the reason for this is it is doing a few things that it has never done before. It's loading up a few of those shader classes that it didn't currently have before we installed this, which is no big deal. Just wait for it to do its thing. Now, if it does go black here, then you may have installed the wrong Optifine version. Make sure, once again, that you do have that Ultra within the name. Otherwise, you're going to have an issue. But thankfully, we had it load up just fine. Now, to ensure that you have installed Optifine properly, let's go ahead 
ahead and click on options. Now, as you see, we have a new option called shaders. So that means we have installed it successfully. As you see, we also have Optifine installed. Let's go ahead and bump up to normal and let's bump this down to about 35 as these are the settings that I record at. Let's go ahead and press done and let's go into our shaders test world. Now shaders should not be enabled currently, but they will be enabled as soon as we are able to install our awesome new shader pack. So let's go ahead and press escape, go to options, then click on shaders. And as you see, we currently have no shaders. What you're going to now do is open the shader packs folder and you should be able to scoot Minecraft off to the side. As you see, we have done here. Now what we are going to do is drag our SUS V10 RC7 Ultra over into the shader packs folder. Now you can also do this by navigating to FTB Ultimate Minecraft and then you should be able to navigate to it from here. As you see it is currently right here and we have our SUS V10 in here. Now all you have to do is exit out of this and let's return to the Minecraft game. Now as you saw I did bring that over to the improper monitor but now we have it back. As you see SUS V10 is actually in here and easily you can just click and switch back and forth between your shaders and now we have everything done. Now if you do have a few issues with block breaking I would recommend trying this out but as you see our shader has been installed so if you guys have enjoyed this tutorial or has helped you out at all please do hit that like button down below as well as a subscription is much appreciated because it means the world to me when I get to see that I've helped out a bunch of you guys and that water just looks beautiful I mean come on I think that water is worth a subscription not really but thank you guys for watching this has been PG Mining 10 and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so I'll see you guys next time peace